As bears continue to expand their use of the northern Rockies, the chance of an encounter while hunting increases every year. If you choose to hunt in bear country, it is important that you learn to do so safely. Grizzly bears are threatened and endangered, while black bears aren't. To avoid shooting the wrong bear, a federal offense, make sure you know the differences before heading out. In grizzly bears, identify one or more features before taking aim. Pronounce shoulder hump. Dished face profile. Short rounded ears. Long, light claws. If you look at the same parts of the body, you'll see how black bears differ. No shoulder hump. Straight face profile. Taller, pointier ears short, dark claws. You can also tell the difference by knowing your bear tracks. Grizzly claw marks are usually visible in tracks, while they're not always found in black bear tracks. With a grizzly, if you draw a line between the base of the outer toes, it should intersect all five. The same line within a black print will not. A hunting trip should always begin with a visit to your local wildlife management agency. Personnel there should be able to inform you of any recent bear activity. Once at the trailhead, read the signs. They may have extra information about bears in the area. Since bears are attracted to odors, before you head out, make sure to put any extra food you won't be taking with you into your car trunk or hard-sided vehicle. You should go out equipped with and prepared to use bear pepper spray. Keep the spray within reach, not in a pack. It's a good idea to always hunt with a partner. If you were hunting alone and were to be injured by a bear, you might be in serious trouble. A partner would know where you were and could get help. Remember that loud noises could attract bears, and gunshots are no exception. Stay alert after firing a gun. If you're staying at a campground, follow the signs and use the food storage areas. If provided, use bear-resistant food lockers. If not, look for hang poles, often located near to a site. Many times, neither option is available and you'll have to use what you can find. Before or while setting up camp, you should hang your food. A tree with a large, sturdy branch ought to do the trick. Make sure you pull the food pack at least 10 feet from the ground and four feet from top and side supports. This precaution should prevent even the tallest of grizzlies from reaching your food. If you can't find an adequate tree, look for a cliff as a substitute. Tents should be set up at least 100 yards from the food storage area. Set up your tents in a line, not a circle. This will prevent a bear from feeling closed in were one to wander into your camp. Your cooking area should be in the same location as your food hanging site to minimize odors. It's recommended to use pre-packaged foods as they make preparation and cleanup easy and less messy. After eating, always clean pots and dishes. It's a good idea to bring along a strainer to strain food particles from dishwater. This minimizes food for bears. Place food scraps along with your garbage. Wash your hands thoroughly after handling food to avoid spreading odor onto clothes or into tents. Place all garbage, cooking equipment, and unprepared foods together in preparation for hanging. Other items to hang with food include toothpaste, deodorant, soap, lotions, dish rag, clothing worn while cooking, and lip balms, which may have a fruity smell. Again, hang 10 feet from the ground and 4 feet from side supports. For larger groups on horseback, panniards are available for food transport and storage. 
Bear-resistant stoves are an excellent addition to an outfitting kitchen. Bear-resistant storage cases are easy for humans to open, but extremely difficult for bears. Make sure to use equipment approved by the Interagency Grizzly Bear Committee. No matter what items you decide to include in your outfitting kitchen, they are only effective if you are responsible in using them. Remember, the most important thing in camping in bear country is to maintain a clean camp. While on the hunt, stay alert and always keep an eye out for bear signs. Look for tracks. Scat. Bears often tear logs for insects. Look for torn apart logs. Turned over logs. Turned over rocks. Diggings. Often tracks will lead to a rub tree. Look here for hair samples. Peeled off bark. Claw marks. Be alert in certain high use areas. White bark pine stands are a good source of food and a favorite place for bears. Listen for Clark's nutcrackers who also feed on the nuts. Other high use areas include water sources, and avalanche shoots, berry patches, high elevation areas. There are also other times in which you should remain extra alert. Windy days may muffle sounds. Be careful at bends and trails. Dense vegetation. Loud streams are a water source and also mask sounds. After shooting your game, survey the area before approaching. There may be bears present. Make noise while approaching. Clap your hands or call out, Hey bear, ho bear. As you get near to your kill, Stay alert and look around for bears. Have your bear pepper spray out and ready to use. It can take only a matter of seconds for a charging bear to reach you. When preparing to leave with your kill, there are important things to remember. Never drag a kill back to your campsite as this increases the chances of attracting bears. All skilled hunters are prepared with tools in case they must perform some field dressing. These may include an axe, rope, good knife, tarps for gut piles, a pulley system for hanging game, flagging. You might consider bringing chaps to keep pants from getting odorous blood on them. A pair of rubber gloves will allow you to handle game without getting the odor on your hands. The pulley system has made it easier to hang game. Use the hang pole to place a hook around a tree branch. After doing the same with an adjacent tree, tie the pulley between the two hanging ropes. This will be used to hoist any game pieces to a height out of reach from bears. Be certain to drag the gut pile at least 50 yards away from the hanging area. Be certain that the meat is at least 10 feet from the ground.
other methods than the pulley system can be used also. Existing trees, like this leaning one, are great for hanging game. Again, just make sure that meat is 10 or more feet from the ground. Another special technique can be used if no support limb is present. Create a support pole by cutting down a small tree. Place one end in a notch on a tree. The other is hoisted up by rope and tied into place. From here on, follow the other methods and hang your meat from the support limb. Again, 10 or more feet from the ground. Hunting in bear country is special. Remember, stay alert. have a rewarding and safe hunt.